What's up YouTube? It is your boy JB and we are here today with the review for Pose. Season 3, right? Episode 6. Alright you guys, next week is the series finale of Pose. Um, and this episode was titled Something Old and Something New. You know, I didn't realize that when I when the episode came on, I didn't realize that it was a whole hour and 30 minutes. So I watched it this morning, so that's why you're getting it later today. But um, before we get into that, if you guys are watching this video or any other videos on my channel, and you're not already subscribed to the channel, why are we still going out with each other on a date? And you sticking me with the bill that you asked me on a date for. But with that being said, let's go ahead and get into the review. So hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, leave your comments, and let's move on, you guys. All right, you guys, so this episode, we see Pray Tell. So Pray Tell is with the doctor and with Judy. He's getting checked out, so he's he's having eyesight issues. So actually, Pray Tell is going blind, which is a sign of, you know, the AIDS virus progressing, and it is continuing, you know, it's getting ready to take him on out of the fight. But at this point, Pray Tell doesn't want to give up. He doesn't, he wants to continue to fight. He wants to live his life, which absolutely do that you know if you're still able-bodied to get around live your life and enjoy every minute that you have with the people that you love so then we later see him with Blanca and he's cooked for Blanca and he's also made this dress for Blanca okay you guys might hear my um, microwave um, making me something for lunch but um he tells her you know what his dream was when he came to New York so he wanted to make a fashion house but things, you know, what he planned didn't go how he wanted, how, you know, he wanted it. So then he lets her know about his eyesight as well and that he's nearing the end. So he tells Blanca that he wants to make this quilt and he wants to give it, you know, to um, an AIDS, you know, an AIDS foundation. And, you know, that scene with Pray Tell and Blanca was, it was a sad one, you know, it, it had me and my feelings, I'm not even going to lie. I just hope that in next week's episode with the series finale, I hope that Pray Tell doesn't die. But I feel like that's what's gonna happen. I feel like Pray Tell's gonna die. I just really feel it. But let's move on, you guys. All right, you guys, next, let's talk about Angel and Poppy. Well, let's actually talk about Beth, though. I mean, Angel. Poppy. I wanna call him Angel because his name is Angel. But let's talk about Poppy. So, in last week's review, I don't want anybody to think that I was coming down hard on Angel. I really wasn't. What I was saying in last week's review about Angel was the fact that Poppy has stood by Angel through some of her darkest moments. I'm not saying that him being a father is a dark moment, but Poppy has stood by her. I get it, she is still in the thick of her sobriety, but she could have said, she could have done a lot of things differently. She could have said to Poppy, you know, hey, that, I mean, I love you 100%. I love you, but this is a big thing for me. I, you know, you're asking me to be an instant mother. That I can't do, especially with me still being, you know, dealing with sobriety. So she just could have said something. She could have did some things differently. But like I said, Poppy and Beth, though, they have become an instant family. The thing that confused me was Poppy was cooking breakfast for um, Beth, but when Uncle Ricky came over, he stopped cooking. Cause he was going out he said there's egg you know egos in the um freezer and all that stuff i'm like but you were just cooking whatever so poppy is getting ready to go out so he can get some stuff together for little beto so ricky tells him that he's living with blanca you know he's getting one of his friends hooked him up with one another one of janet jackson's tours so poppy says hey you saw angel he says yes we have saw angel so then we do see angel you know, a little flashback with when um, Ricky and Blanca were talking to Angel. They were telling her, like, you got a good man, Savannah. You got a good man. And with Beto, he's not a baby, so you don't have to potty train him. You don't have to do any of that stuff. You got it made. Just raise him to be a good man. Like, not much to it. But I mean, I can understand Angel not wanting to be, like I said, I can understand her not wanting to be an instant mother because she's not in that head space. Like I said, she's just newly sober. So I got where she was coming from. It was just the way she reacted in last week's episode for me. 
Um, and then, you know, um, Blanca says, girl, what kind of child do you want? And I was like, exactly. What kind of child do you want? So then we see Angel. So Angel's getting ready to pick up the phone. And, you know, um, Blanca says, do not call that boy to call off the wedding. She says, I'm not calling him. I'm calling my father. She's like, you still have a relationship with your father? She says, yes. You know, even when I was on the pier, I was making ends meet for me and him. Like I would meet him, you know, every once in a while and I would give him some money. So she wants her father to walk her down the aisle when she marries Poppy, which I have a lot of, I had a lot of questions about that and I'm, and I still got some questions when we get to it. Let's move. All right, you got some Angel. She did go to see her father and we find out that Angel and her father have not saw each other in the last two years. And for her, unfortunately for her, her father is still not able to see her as who she is, a woman. He still sees a man. You know, it's so interesting. I was on, when I was on my way back home yesterday, um, I was watching, because Erica De Niro, she posted um, in her community tab, this video of that ignorant ass Angela Sim, which I'll talk about her later sometime this week. He, she posted a video of her and I was just looking at what Angela was talking about. And she sounds like this girl's dad, she sounds like Angel's dad, but at least Angel's dad was a little bit, when the woman came to the table, at least he said, this is my daughter, but God dang. Now he did say one thing. She tells him that she's engaged. Now as, as backwards as he is, you guys might hear my neighbor's dog barking. I don't know why. She, but as, as backwards as her dad is, her dad did say one thing that I was thinking, I have been thinking this whole entire season. Yes, we all refer to Angel as a woman because that's what she is. But this is the nineties. And if she and Poppy were to go get a marriage license, they're not going to get one because her birth certificate or whatever she has is going to say male. Although she's a woman, that wasn't legal in the 90s and in the 2000s. That just became legal within the last, what, what, 2017, I believe it was. So I was just confused. I'm like, how in the hell are they going to, I have been thinking that for weeks. How are Angel and Poppy going to get married? So then we see Angel, she goes home and Poppy and Bethel, they are having a conversation with each other and they're talking about what it is to be a real man because um, Bethel told Poppy that, you know, he misses his mommy and he doesn't want to cry in front of him. He says, no, it's okay to cry. Like, I don't know, I don't know where that came from that men don't cry. I don't know where it came from. It's very toxic. So Angel, she comes in and she is, you know, very apologetic to Poppy for how she's reacted. You know, her talk to her father made her see what what, what a fuck up she was being. Um, let's move on. M for sex, which why do we say sex when it's gender? M for her, you know, her her gender, but instead we know she's a female, a woman, so to speak. So she's talking to Lulu, she's talking to Blanca and Electra. Lulu's like, hey, you could just have one of those, um, which now this would have been more realistic for me because you saw it all throughout the 90s and the 2000s. You would see where people had those commitment ceremonies, where gay and lesbian people would have commitment ceremonies. Isn't that what Ellen and Portia did at one point before they actually got married? Didn't they have a commitment ceremony to each other? Cause they were together for years before they actually even got legally married. I think so. Even with Rosie O'Donnell. I mean, how many, how many, now she's had a lot of ex-wives, but that's neither here nor there. So like I said, Lulu says the commitment ceremony. Electra says, hell the fuck no, we ain't doing no commitment ceremony. You are going down to that city council and getting your marriage license. Cause I have spent a lot of money on this wedding, this venue and everything. So at this point it was just about Electra. I'm like, okay, Electra. Um, so we find out that Poppy, um, so Angel says that Poppy has already, you know, filled out all the paperwork because if it was up to her, she procrastinates, I would assume. Now Blanca, Blanca, I don't know what fairy tale land Blanca was living in because Blanca was like, no, daughter, what you're going to do is you, like Electra said, you're going to go down there. You're going to take off because at one point, Electra was saying, hey, how about we get the mom involved and they can doctor up and, you know, doctor up your shit, make it all look legal. 
Blanca says, no, you're going to take your real documents down there and get your marriage license. And I was just like, again, what world are we living in? This is 1990-something. In the 90s, this was not a, this would have never happened. I, I mean, could it have happened? Well, it could have happened if you have rich, if they were rich and had lawyers that could do that. But I don't see how, whatever. It's just not, it's just not adding up. And we're going to talk about that a little bit more. So then we see Blanc, um, Poppy and Angela doing their seating chart. And they're trying to figure out where people, where to sit people at. They were like, oh, no, you can't sit, you know, Pandava's here with, next to this person. And it's not going to work. So then Poppy is getting ready to get up and leaves. She's like, where are you going? He's like, I got to go have my final fitting. So she's like, what about him? I'm talking about Bethel. He says, you watch him. She's like, I have never been alone with the kid. He says, hey, this is, it, there's, you, it's always going to be a first time. You, you got to get used to it. So then <laughs> somewhere on her way, Bethel started giving Angel the blues. So she called Blanca over. Blanca showed up, showed up, and she's like, you know, I found out that you like the Power Rangers, which I love the Power Rangers as well. I was when I saw that suit, I'm like, where in the hell did they get that? I really need to know where they got that suit. I know I can't fit it, but where did y'all get that? I have not saw one. Of, I don't, I don't see any. Well, actually, I do. Actually, I do still sell Mighty Morphin stuff, but that's beside the point. She asked him who is his favorite Ranger. He says Zach, which is. As a kid, Zach was my favorite, and then Kimberly. I love Zach and Kimberly, respectively. And then he tried on this suit, and he came back, and they just had a good time with each other. And Blanca just, you know, kind of reassured Angel, like, you'll be a good mother. Like, get out of your head, basically. But let's move on. All right, guys, now this scene with Lulu and her dude Jerome, they just kind of threw this scene in here. Very random. So Electra got Lulu an apartment, that's nice. And Jerome comes in and he's hella high, like you could look at his crusty ass lips and tell he was on something. So Lulu clocked it, she was like, you're high. And he was trying to play it off and then he tried to light, he took out the crack pipe and tried to light it. She says, uh-uh, and broke the crack pipe. She says, she's sober and she wants to stay that way. Now, if you don't want to be sober, what you can do is get your shit and get out. So he was getting ready to get out. And she's like, did you forget? You forgot something. He started smiling. She says, uh-uh, my keys. My keys. How? Uh, when did she go get sober? When the hell did she go get sober? So I'm guessing, she, I'm guessing Lulu went and got sober between this episode and the last episode. Because the last episode, I, I didn't think she was sober. But, you know, I'm, I'm not going to nitpick. Let's move on. Angel and Poppy. So, Angel and Poppy, they went to go get their marriage license, right? Now, the lady at the desk, Poppy gave her his, his information. And then she asked for Angel's information. So, she asked for his driver's license. And, he, and she asked for Angel's. They said, well, we brought her passport because, you know, we want to go somewhere. You know, we want to go to... They won't go out of the country for their honeymoon. So she hands over her passport. And again, here's, a, here's one of those things where I'm like, how realistic is this? Like, this is one of those things where I was just like, is this very, this is not, this just doesn't seem realistic to me. Because a woman looked at the passport. And yes, Angel, she can definitely pass. I mean, she, I would have never clocked her. But the issue was that woman was looking at that passport and she's, oh, how did I miss this? So Angel is freaking out thinking that she's, you know, figured out that she's a trans woman. But no, what it is is Angel didn't sign the marriage certificate, the, 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 um, the application. I was like, really? <laughs> I mean, okay, I guess. I guess it, it could have happened. I don't know. It just, again, like I said to me, it just doesn't seem that realistic. Like, I wonder if them talking to that woman about, you know, their their nationality was a way to kind of distract her from actually paying attention to what she was doing. Like, I was confused. 
please let me know in the comment section if you guys were as confused as I was, but whatever. Let's move on and wrap the episode up. All right, you guys, so then we see Pray Tell. So Pray Tell's with Blanca and he is still working on her dress. And Blanca shows him her design for the quilt. And that was really pretty much it with that scene. It was, it was a nice scene. So then we see everyone, they're starting to show up for the wedding. So we see the guys, so we see Pray Tell, we see Ricky, and we see Lamar. Now here's another thing that kind of confused me. When the hell did they get cool with Lamar? I'll be right back, you guys. All right, you guys, we are back. But yeah, when did they become cool with Lamar? I was confused about that. So, Poppy, I'm guessing they're going to be on his side since there's not a lot of people on the groom's side. Pray tell, he's officiating the wedding. Ricky and Lamar were. See, this is the confusing. Like, Lamar, when did y'all become cool with Lamar? But you know what? Move on. So, he thanks them for being his brothers and... I was confused once again. Like I said, this, I love the show, but it's a lot of stuff that just leaves you kind of questioning yourself. Like, because in the first episode of this season, they didn't, they had, they were not feeling Lamar. Like, what is the timeline? So the wedding starts, actually before the wedding, we see Angel, she's with Blanca, Lulu, and um, Electra. So you guys know the wedding tradition for a woman, something old, something borrowed, something blue, and something new. So they all give her something respectively. So something old was Blanca's mother's cookbook. So she wants Angel to take that and feed her, you know, um, nourish her, herself, her, nourish herself, her husband, and her baby. So Electra's was something new. She bought um, her a mink coat. Lulu provided the something borrowed. So Lulu took out of her, you know, took out and gave her her um her chip for you know her one month being sober. Okay, not gonna dig into it. And then um, the something borrowed. Wait, well, no, 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 no. That was a something new. Nope, that was a something blue. The something blue was a blue hammer that was resemblance of Candy's little hammer that she had. And then I'm glad that they you know, included candy in this some way, somehow. I'm really happy for that. And then we get to the wedding. The wedding was nice. I will say that the wedding was so nice. Every woman came in with their nice wedding dress on. And um, Angel, her dress, I just didn't like the flowers on her dress. What could have done without the flowers? But um, we get to the wedding, she does her vows. Then Poppy starts his vows. And Chris was like, wait a minute, is he reciting the lyrics, repeating the lyrics to I Swear? And then he starts saying, he says, yep, he definitely was. And then, then we all just broke out into a song of I Swear. I was like, well, that's very random. I swear. Okay. So now they're married. Um, Electra, girl, you keep buying them. I mean, you bought them a new Mustang. The hell? You know what, girl, if you want to get caught by the feds, go ahead and get caught by the feds, but you spending recklessly at this point. Um, I forgot to mention that, the, you know, Pray Tell revealed to the guys that he was blind. Um, That was really pretty much it with the episode. We see Angel, Poppy, and Bethel. They are on vacation, you know, on their honeymoon vacation. That was the end of the episode, really and truly. I mean, the show was good. The episodes are good. It's just the writing for me. It Some of it is just not very realistic, you guys. But that is a review. Let me know what you guys thought about it. Like this video. Leave your comments in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell button so you guys are aware of when I drop any videos. And share this video. Until the next one, stay safe. Take care of yourselves. Wash your hands. Wear your mask. If not, if you're not wearing a mask, please stay safe. Stay blessed. And I'll see you guys in the next one, which is going to be The Shy. Until then, you guys, bye.